What is up guys? It is Mike H. Memo here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to my Gothic 3 playthrough. The playthrough of the Hashishin aka Beliar. I think it was episode 9 part 2 where we were con gonna continue where we left off in Braga. Now in the last episode when I you know shut it down the game I said that I had to check something when it comes to Trufail well I did check and the thing is is that killing him will not resolve into Hashishin points so therefore since I'm going to become a Hashishin I will pay the tribute in his name so uh, let's go to Trufail and uh, get the Chalice of Water Vendors of water vendors my apologies as well as the gold that was stolen by the nomads first i'm gonna talk with abbas mr mr abbas the water vendor i've come to collect your tribute i would pay son of forbearance but i am afraid that mere gold will not suffice i promised zubin my chalice the chalice of water vendor but of course you no longer have it. I gave it to Tufael when he collected the tribute. But that son of a jinx allowed them to take it from him. I humbly beg of you, find the chalice and bring it to Nafalem. Where could the chalice be? The nomads have it. Their hideouts are nearby, within the fields of ruins. Now, I tried two methods, you know, to try to check it out. One was by googling it, which was the second method that I used. Uh, the first method, method that I used was to try kick Tufail's ass by saying, you know, you have, uh, have disobeyed Beliar's commands or whatever, and uh, I'm gonna kill you now in the name of Nephilim. I failed, I lost, you know, so um, I decided, you know, let's get Diego into the party and uh, let him join the fun. I killed Sufail, I got nothing in return, no XP except for the XP that you get from knocking him down. Um, no XP, no reputation points, so I'm pretty sure it's kind of pointless to kill Sufail since the fact that he's one of the few NPCs that I can remember that actually teaches you how to resist the heat. Now of course if you wear either Nomad's armor or Hashishin armor then you don't really need to learn to resist the heat but still you know it gave me nothing in return so I'm just gonna use to file to help me with the fucking nomads and uh, kick their asses I think his name was a uh, Maclear or something like that so yeah let's continue where are you to file Nafalem sent me well my pockets are empty I don't have a single coin but wait before you kill me let me suggest a deal let's hear it Fight with me against Malor and his raiders. If we are victorious, you will have more gold than my life is worth. You can keep all of the loot we get. And then I'm supposed to let you go? And pay my tribute to Nephilim. That is my offer. All right. We will fight against the raiders. You will not regret this, son of Valor. I know where Malor and his raiders are hiding out. They have a cave here. We can go as soon as you are ready. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's attack the nomads. Then forward into battle. Now should I be wrong and let me know in the comment section below, you know, should I be wrong that maybe it was a bug that didn't give me any reputation. Um but I also googled the entire list of the whole Hashishin reputation and I didn't saw two files death within it, so it's not really you know necessary to kill him. You could, of course, no one is preventing you from doing so, but it, there is really no benefit from it. You know, at least when he's alive, he will help you with the nomads, which is, uh, you know, better than do it alone. Unless you play on normal or you are very, very strong. Then, of course, you don't really need him help, but every bit helps. Should have taken Diego with me. Hmm. No. 
If you cannot win, you gotta use your brains. <laughs> Apparently they could hit me. Very interesting. Stop right there. No can do, sir. Messing things up. Also, the poison. A great. Just jolly. That was a bit close to comfort zone. Karma is a bitch. Did I even make a quick save or was this from my uh, previous attempt to, uh, you know, when I checked if uh, killing two fail worked or not? Well, let's go. I'm not quite sure whether it was from the previous setting, but either way, it's all fine and dandy. Bloodlust. And let's use the nomads against the nomads. I'm gonna let you have it. Knock it. Uh, you hit me. Uh, uh. Oh, that one uh, failed a bit. Of course. It was like, you know, mm, let's go back. Right through the wall, he won't say.
Where is he? I'll tear your head off. Really? Not gonna have where does that lizard come from? I can't remember there were lizards in this vicinity. If Tufai dies, it's, it's the will of Belial. Stop right there. Oh, why is the spare? Headshot. Eat dust. Would have been a shame if I uh, had died, you know, would have been a karma. But fortunately, karma is this time not a bitch. Because don't, for, don't forget my friends, Karma is a bitch, she really is. It's the better bow, better bow. Mm. It should be, but it is worn, that's why it isn't. Allah has been defeated. Good work. You take the loot and give it to Nathalem. He won't welcome me back to the city. But at least I won't die. 
What are you going to do next? I will go to Abbas, the water merchant. At least I won't die of thirst there. You don't say? Now, if I remember correctly, too far you can learn you how to resist the heat. Can you teach me something? If you don't want to die of thirst, I can teach you an old trick. Fifteen learning points. But that is because of, of, of alternative balance. Makes uh, some capabilities a bit uh, more expensive than others. Normally, you know, in default of the game, if you have everything disabled, then uh, every skill that you learn costs about 5 learning points, which is 0 0.5 level. So every one level, you know, you can learn two capabilities, but because of I have activated alternative balance, some things are a bit more expensive. Like uh, Dark Mage will instead of be instead of 5 will be 30 which is equal to 3 full levels um, instead of a half a level you know so differences are major so if you play for the first time I highly recommend disabling it because it does make the game harder due to the fact that you cannot learn everything as quickly as you want to you know come with me good good My good friend of Halen. Here. This is from Tufail. What? That is... What? Oh, I cannot imagine that he came up with the gold by himself. You should be careful, traveler. Generosity can be a great weakness, but tribute is tribute. Good. I accept the gold. It is not only a curse, it's also a fortune. It depends on how you use your gold. I have the chalice of the water vendors. Ah, this chalice is worth a special token of my gratitude. I'll pay the tribute for Luca. I hope you at least made a good deal with him. Indeed, that I did. Here is the tribute from Jose. I don't suppose he caused you any trouble. He is a good merchant. He sold slaves to all the orcs that came by, and the pass is the only way into the desert. Here is the tribute from Bernardo. He didn't give you any trouble, did he? Um, well, not really. About the tribute... Yes, I am reasonably satisfied. I suppose there's nothing more to be had here. It is probably better if I stay here and keep the peace. As for you, I shall recommend you an Ishtar. Carry on like this, and you will soon be a friend of the Hashishin. And I hope to serve the Hashishin well. What can you do for me? Since you have proven capable, I shall instruct you in the arts of magic. Teach me something about ancient magic. Now, the only dark mage that I know out of my head that can actually teach you to um, regenerate mana is um, I think it was Somebody. let me check on the map yeah Bakaresh the uh, high priest of Bakaresh not inside the temple but outside of it and Ishtar probably you know as for uh, Paladin which is HP regeneration uh, no no not regeneration this one you can get this one by either uh, Khan or King Robar. I'm not entirely sure about Zubin, but I will figure that one out with this particular run. If I can get it, then of course I will get it because it will require me to uh, consume less HP, you know, according to time. Um, I could learn this one. But I do need more strength due to the fact more strength is faster than this one, which I need in order to compete in the arenas. Um, so yeah, let's quickly get some strength training. Uh, let's go quickly to 
the Diego. Go back now. You know where to find me. I sure do, my friend. I hope so. All right, so let's quickly go to Redick. No, no, no. Let's go to Cape Don. I can find the fa trainer faster there. I also want to get my ancient knowledge, you know, up to uh, 200. But uh, first, I want to be able to use dual wielded swords so I can compete in the arenas, you know. But it is possible that I will keep the arena fights for one separate video. Could be. Show me your goods. But that remains to be seen. Now I'll keep that one for some screenshots, which will come later. Once I finish the game, I make uh, use of my armor collection, you know, to make separate screenshots for certain areas, certain locations, etc. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, you can check out my playthrough of Bel uh, my, th my playthrough of Enos and my playthrough of Adenos. They already have those thumbnails, but Belial will have somewhat similar only then with the armors of Belial. You know, the Hashishin armors, the uh, whatever armor that I'm gonna collect. Rangers too, I can't forget those. Now I need a couple of bison skins for a quest in, I think it was Nortmar. I don't need cloth, I don't need dark snapper leather anymore. Um, I can sell those. Now you could keep them, you need mine crawler manables, two of them, for a boost called Tunnel Rumbler, which require you to have 200 endurance if you want to complete that quest. Sabertooth Tigers are quest related, Shadows Beast skins are crafting related. I'm not quite sure whether I will craft the weapon, but uh, I'll keep them just in case. Lizard is nothing as far as I know. Saws, hammers and pickaxes you will need for Vanguard the capital. Um, wolf skins you will need for either crafting or the... Um, I'm not quite sure what the old name was. But it's one uh, that guards the entrance towards the castle of Faring. Um, so you need about 20 wolf skins for that one. So I'll keep them for now, you know. 17k, eh? Hmm. I need about 27 for the ranger's armor, which could help me quite a bit because the armor stats are pretty darn good. Would you teach me how to fight? Good. <coughs> what do I need for mana regeneration? 200. I got currently 133. So I should have invested my ancient knowledge, but uh, you know, in the end, it really doesn't matter. In the end, or either either things have to be done. Let's go back to Braga. Mana regeneration will allow me to use magic a bit more often but uh, I at least want to you know wield my first one-handed well dual wielded one-handed weapons as ASAP because that's the original battle style of this character the staff I want to keep for my hardcore run so that every playthrough has a bit of uniqueness inside of them even though majority already I have been fighting with the staff you know with the Servant of Adenos, I had the two-handed weapons and the crossbow. Um, not not the crossbow, I think it was the bow. Or was it the crossbow? I'm not quite sure. At any rate, two-handed weapons. Um, with my Servant of Enos, it was one-handed weapon and a shield. With this guy, it's going to be dual-wielded swords. And with my hardcore run, it will be uh, purely staff. He will learn these, but only if I have to, you know, as a collectible, if you will. But his majority fighting will be with the staff. I do need mana regeneration, like I said, so I can use 
magic more quicklier. 200. Oh, I need mana regeneration for dark mage. Interesting. Also for water mage, also for fire mage. Okay. But that is because of alternative balance of that I'm certain. You know, um, because in the default game I don't think that I had mana regeneration as a servant of Enos, but I could be wrong. You know, if you are wondering which character stats as which, you know, whether it's Adenos, Enos or Balear in this case. If the playlist is marked as a completed, you can find the full character stats in the description whether the first video is published or not. Um, in this case, it will already be, a couple of videos will be published before I, you know, can actually get all the stats into the playlists but in the end if the playlist is marked as complete whether it's a fear whether it's gothic risen doesn't really matter if it has characters individual stats those will be shown in the playlist so you know exactly which character trains what which character focus on what and what char you know what things does he not learn because as a servant of Enos and a servant of Adenos, there are certain things I cannot learn, you know, as well as with the servant of Baliar. So always check my playlist description for the full character detail. It could be spoilers, but if you're looking for any specific way of building, then you can find each build within my uh, playlists and combine them if, as you wish, you know. It's entirely up to you what to do with it, but you can find them nevertheless in the playlist. So uh, let's continue and uh, get Diego back in the party. Come with me. Here we go then. And let's take care of the second Nomad Patrol. So let's go, Diego. Now, unlike the other two playthroughs, Adenos and Enos, I did not ki kill Asuru. With this one I have to, and therefore I will use a, a, a little bit of trick. Oh, what? I'll chop you to pieces. Stop right there, Mora. Not Madarian. I'm gonna, you know, run away because I don't want Madarian to be killed. If he dies, you know, my questing, sure, I really don't need him to stay alive, you know, due to the fact I have to kill him for Hashishim reputation, but, uh, I prefer to keep him alive. So I'm gonna kill the orcs. Because in the end, all sides are my enemy. But, you know, that is the way of Baliar. As Baliar, I have to eliminate Khan, Subban, and uh, King Robar. And therefore, I work on all three sides to infiltrate them. For the sake of the will of the gods, I, uh, the, so, you know, kept uh, the water mage alive. Even though in the end he has to die, just like all the other water mages. But for now he has a purpose to serve. And these orcs did not. Let's go. Alright, so let's find those nomads.
Now those stone tablets, by the way, I would use once I have um, up about 150 to 200 ancient knowledge. Due to the fact that I need 275 for the max Balear capability, as well as the fact that at certain point, whether it's 150 or 200, it will require me to invest 10 learning points, aka one full level into 5 learning points of ancient knowledge, then it ain't worthy anymore, and thus I will use the tablets or whatever items I have that gives ancient knowledge. Aside from the books, aside from the tablets, you know, those I will still read as soon as I can pretty much but the tablets I will use for a smarter purpose because th I think that w that was one of the things that uh, you know forced me to cheat at the servant of Enos when it comes to alternative balancing require you know fire mage required 30 learning points and uh, I was already at quite high level you know, I could kill everything and say trouble. It's really not worth it for a few stats. So I cheated, you know, got the uh, XP cheated wise in order to learn the missing capabilities of my character. Beast. But all of which has been recorded, so you know if you're curious on how I did it, you can check it out at my playthrough of Enos. The a wonderful, wonderful thing of having multiple playthroughs on your channel. Yes, it's a lot of work, you know, but in the end it could satisfy uh, quite a few players. Is it all top quality? No, you know, it's basic. I record, I upload, that's it. There's no, uh, you know, no editing involved or cutting or whatever, you know, except for the first run, which were transformed from live stream, you know, I had to cut in those, but other than that, there's really no editing and whatnot. But my hardcore run will have those things, you know. My hardcore run will have an intro and outro. Um, will have editing in between. In many different ways, either you can watch the hardcore run in separate short episodes, you know, or in one full swing. But those will get intros, outros. Just to give my ch channel a little bit of... Uh, you know, diversity if you will. Because here's the thing, you know, if I wanted to do a intro outro with the game, you know, whether it's gothic, whether it's risen, whether I don't want to have one and the same intro by every single game that I play. You know, I am really quite demanding in that regard when it comes to that, you know. I prefer to have difference all over. Servant of Enos his own intro outro you know, it's a servant of Balear, his own intro outro. The servant of Eno Adonos, his own intro outro. And that, you know, is a bit too much. At least. For, uh, for my regard, you know, I don't know how to edit, I don't know how to use Sony Vegas, uh, Sony Vegas artifacts, you know, after effects and such. But, uh, so I really have no basic knowledge when it comes to creating intros, outros, so I want to hire people to do those for me and thus create jobs. It's not about making you rich, it's about creating jobs, you know. So that I can flourish, you can flourish, and we all can unitedly enrich the economics for everyone. Not just for me, not just for you, for everyone. Because we need more jobs. Sad but true. And every company in the world will never be, you know, capable of fully employing entire mankind. You know, it doesn't work. 
it's way too expensive for those companies to hire all those people you know all the companies get too much power and that's something that most of the time leads to corruption and whatnot so what we need is a society which enriches itself by internet by every means necessary Well, that, that's just my personal view, you know. We are richer than we think that we are. We are quite rich. But we waste it away like it's nothing. Only a few, you know, actually contain rich. The fuck, man. And the thing is, you know, certain technologies are currently very expensive, even though it's beneficial to mankind's survival. Like solar energy, you know, all those kinds of things, electric cars, etc. are still too expensive for the majority of humanity to pay in order to get things done, but we need to get them done relatively quickly. So why, do you, why don't we make things cheaper? Well, because there is no competition. You know, because of those companies are putting the ladder relatively high and every small company will either get blocked by those big companies or get bought over by those big companies to pursue their propaganda plans. You know, some have the beneficial of mankind in their mind, like Elon Musk, etc. You know, w wasting billions and billions of dollars every couple of years just on space programs you know space um exploration building tesla underground tunnels and whatnot you know all those kinds of things are being paid by us you know but it's never never enough and we need more companies we need more competition among one another so that everything gets cheaper and cheaper and cheaper aside from the valuable resources you know at some point our resources are a goner so we also have to try to fix that you know well, shouldn't have messed with me indeed So we need more competition in as many th fields as we can, you know, so that everything gets cheaper. And what we also need to learn as a, as a uh, planetary system, well, that LIGU. Why does it lag so bad? We also need, you know, to, uh, say you know instead of having space station russia space station china and space station we need to say you know let's uh, let's build a space station earth you know fixed you that way you can use a whole lot more money and thus you can achieve a whole lot more Oof. 
and thus we can achieve a whole lot more since we are combining our wealth into one force, you know, instead of having individual power sources. You know, it's all nice and uh, nice and dandy that uh, America, for example, use billions and billions of dollars every year on space exploration and whatnot. But China does it too, Russia does it too, you know. Why not combine the force and have the triple amount of the normal that you normally have as well as you can achieve way more? Why don't we do it? Well, because we don't want to share the power. We don't want to, you know, share the knowledge without having beneficial things towards it. The corruption of greed. But I do believe that at some point there will be a time when mankind finally gets that we are stronger together as united and finally stop the waging war upon one another for faith beliefs you know for religious beliefs or for any other propaganda nonsense you know if i if i imagine what we can achieve if we combine our powers it's just tremendous, you know, we can achieve so much more if we unite and being divided, but we just don't seem to get it, you know, we don't seem to understand it or willing to unite as a species unless there is one specific person in power that that majority of people, you know, agree with or whatever. That is a war that will never end. The eternal battle between good and evil. Because we just want power, we want wealth, we want control, we want everything or nothing. And the more we have, the more we want. And thus the cycle never ends. Now it's not that I want to say that I'm the smartest man on this planet because even I am corrupted by greed, I am corrupted by, you know, pretty much everything that every other human being also have. We are all part of the same plan, well, we are all part of the same problem, let me put it that way. Easy fella. Use me. I don't want to die. Stop right there. Yeah, stop right there. Yep, I really need a alchemist sponge. I'm not so bad, really. Hmm, really? Whoa. How are you still alive, pal? He should have been dead. And lucky you. But nevertheless, good job. Go back now. You know where to find me. I sure do, my friend. Thank you for your assistance. Now, uh, was that a loot?
I suppose so. Okay. Let's see if I can... No. I was glitched a bit in the ground. But so far, you know, I can only imagine what we can achieve if we unite. And it, it's mind-blowing if you think about it. But anyways, um, uh, those two are done. The only one that I still have to do is Azaru. Mm, but we are already 46 minutes in. I think I talked a bit too much. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was yellow. I was like, what the fuck? O orange, you know, depends on how you look at it. Alright, so let me quickly... Why did I make the quick save then? Oh well. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching and if you like what you see feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh, if you want to see a different playthrough whether it's uh, the rebels or the human orc mercenaries you can find both on my channel already and uh we're gonna go to part three to deliver the quest with Bernando. Uh, i'm gonna quickly see what the options are you know I, the reason why i make it the end here is because of the fact I have to still have to go to Azaru, which is connected to Braga, which is connected with the water mage that I saved from the orcs. Um, so I'm gonna do that in part three, so that we can get that all done in one episode, and then uh, go towards the next city afterwards, which either going to be Morasul or Benirai. I'm not quite sure. Um, what's Oblago? No, no, Benirai Lago. Um, but I think I'm first gonna go to Morasul due to the fact that's the great Hashishin city, as well as the fact that there are certain trainers that they can teach me dual wielded combat. But that remains to be seen. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell to be notified on whenever I upload content. And uh, smash the like button if you want to see a, a gothic series hardcore run. No deaths allowed from point A to point Z of the game. Full build in everything if possible. Which is not always the case but if possible. Full build in everything. And the unification of the three gods in one character. Because my current playthroughs are divided by each individual god. You have Enos, you have Adonis, and you have Beliar. Beliar is supposed to be the god of evil, you know, Enos is supposed to be the god of good, and Adonis is the god of balance, you know. But uh, if you want to see any other playthrough, you can find them at my channel, and uh, if not, if you want to see the Hashishin playthrough, then you're in the right place with the playthrough of Beliar. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the third and final part of Braga and uh, maybe even in the next cities or gameplay coming afterwards. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.